Hello everyone, it's Julian from Beauty Cosmos, and we're back to do a new month of top 10 books to subscribe to. So, um, I've spent about uh, half an hour playing around. I have thought I figured out a way to activate my camera as well as my microphone at the same time, and I've come to the realization that even if I have everything connected, there's simply not enough power running the uh, secondary screen for my OBS, uh, the uh, camera, the uh, microphone. So we're gonna go with the camera, with the microphone. Sorry, we'll, we'll figure something another way out with the camera. I may just need to upgrade to a more powerful system. I tend to buy uh, machines that are usually just lightweight and effective, so I may need just like way more power supply and uh, definitely a better graphics card to be able to run all this at the same time. So. Uh, in any ways, uh, we're going to look at a new month of comic book solicitations mm -hmm. of uh, top 10 books I recommend subscribing to. It's actually a pretty good month. Uh, I was really afraid kind of coming out of Marvel how many so many books were delayed and um, it would affect a lot of other publishers. The other publishers have just reduced the number of counts, but we're still were able to find 10 good books I can easily recommend to subscribe to. Uh, and so in the first video, as usual, we'll look at the top five books on the independent side of things. And in the next five, uh, we'll look at five books who are um, either in Marvel and DC, in the superhero genre, most likely. While there can be subsections, it's stuff that gravitates in that area. So um, as usual, we're using BD Cosmos Managed Comics over at bdcosmos.com. So if you uh, scroll right here at BD Cosmos, click Manage Comics, you can find our portal here for people to subscribe to. As always, we ship anywhere throughout Canada on a regular basis. We do have comic book subscribers if we, I, at Cosmos who are not local to the store, so it's not just for the people around here. And of course, if you are, say, have your own LCS, you're willing to look at books. Uh, who who put aside your books? No problem. Feel free to comment down below. To like let us know that yeah you really enjoyed this video or not, and then let us uh, give us any update. Uh, we're progressively, continuously working on these videos, trying to find better ways. Obviously, we don't have an editor or we, we, stuff like that. We're we're not at that level, but we're we'll, we'll get there eventually as we continue doing this. On my own side, uh, I am taking on a lot of delays. There are a lot more things happening at the store, so it's taking more time away fr uh, from me to do videos. Uh, we know we didn't do the uh, top five books to spec on last month. Honestly, there was nothing that really great. But uh, we will, PF and I will uh, be doing a, uh, a probably a condensed two month, uh, in, in hopefully next week. So we're gonna look at our first five books to subscribe to this month. Uh, the first one is a pretty classic, it's TMNT Saturday Morning Adventures. Uh, a couple of months ago, we had the GI Joe Saturday Morning Adventures. It did really well for most people. They really enjoyed it. So if again, you, instead of a GI Joes from the late early eighties, and you're more of a TMNT kind of person from the late eighties, early nineties, heck, even the two thousands, there were a lot of TMNT. But this is more harkens back to the original series of the TMNT series. So Saturday Morning Adventures, uh, Eric Burnham, Steve and Riller writer, and uh, but the art style is very reminiscent to that. So I'm really excited about this personal series, and uh, I think this will be a great book to keep on in stock for uh, as a store for uh, children of all ages, in all honesty, because it's something that we can recommend to parents. Like, hey, here's uh, something that you probably watch as a kid, and now you can give it to your parents, uh, to your kids. So I honestly think this will be a great, great book for children. Next up, we've got Vanish. Uh, Vanish is from the fantastic team of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. The uh, 2017 through 2021 run of Venom. Um, and uh, also Ryan Stegman does lots of other covers and books. Um, and then Donny Cates is currently writing Thor and Hulk at Marvel. Um, and he's uh, on break over at Crossover at Image. So uh, Donny Cates and Stegman have this is uh, the next uh, Substack book being published by Image. So we've already had Closet, we have had Bubble Domain. Uh, so now Vanish is the next book coming out. So this is a fantastic group. Vanish is a dark horse, uh, no, a dark superhero type book. Um, think of uh, the Darkness or um, uh, the Witchblade it's, it's type of uh, top cow books that were done in the uh, late uh, mid 90s, uh, 
late early 2000s it's that time kind of book uh, that's coming out and so uh, just for the team itself uh, i'm sure we've uh, a lot of people have subscribed to you know, a lot of people recommend donny cates too in the right segment as well so honestly i think it's a perfect perfect book um, almost all these uh, Substack books have done well in the store and uh, I, I i wouldn't be surprised if vanish in particular outperforms everything else we've done so far uh, next up, Masquerade is actually the next book written by a famous uh, movie star and director, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith has written a lot of comic books over the years, and so this concept that he's, uh, he's not just per purely him, he's uh, more of a directional uh, writer in this book with uh, Andy McFlersh. Uh, I can't sp spell his name correctly. Oh, screenwriter, Andy McFlersh. Mick Elfresh, okay, Mick Elfresh, Mick Elfresh, that sounds right. Uh, the concept of uh, Masquerade is uh, Felicia Dance, she's the most recognizable superstar in the entire planet, but uh, someone uh, did something horrible to her little brother, and uh, so she would be caught really easily uh, if she got revenge on those people. And so she's going to be ras masquerading and, uh, as other people to get her revenge. So um, it's a pretty good concept, and honestly, it's something that I can easily see uh, Kevin Smith then uh, uh, creating into a movie itself. So Masquerade uh, coming out in um, what is it, July? These are uh, September solicitations, solic September books. So yeah, that's, ah, here we go, right there. Uh, so September 14th coming out. Fantastic. It looks really great from Dark Horse. Um, this is an awesome, awesome little book from Colin Bunn and Layla Ace, who are... Uh, the book behind uh, last book you'll ever read, and then Colin Bunn, obviously Harrow County, um, Basilisk. Uh, the he had the uh, uh, what recently that the Boom did for them or IDW. It was Godzilla versus uh, Power Rangers, I believe. He was doing it's really cool. And now he's known for uh, lots of other things in Marvel, like Venom. He's the incredible anti um, Agent Venom run, run uh, the uh, Venom verse as well. And so uh, in the Shock Shop. Is a it's an anthology book series four issues. Um, oh, uh, Lucky Devil also from Dark Horse was the last book he also read wrote and it was that was really popular as well. I really enjoyed Lucky Devil, and so Shock Shop is a anthology book series a horror little uh, stories of um, it's a, a comic book store owner who goes and ex tells these tales and so it's, it feels very much like tales from the crypt but with the comic book spin. And so every issue should have, I don't know, between two and three stories each. Uh, but uh, again, the, the, uh, the people who are fans of uh, Last Book You'll Ever Read, I highly recommend it. It also is a great little series that a lot of people picked up. So Shock Shop, I highly recommend it. And last up, this is a really cool concept from Christopher Catwell. It's Briar. It is Sleeping Beauty, Dark Sleeping Beauty. We've already had like uh, Dark... Um, uh, and uh, Disney creations were. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, dark um, Robin Hood. Dark. Um, uh, oi. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll go back. Uh, dark fantasy adventures. The uh, the, the Disney have uh, of the movies from the 50s and 60s. Um, so oh, Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, so Briar is a dark take on Sleeping Beauty. Uh, and uh, it, it honestly, the art looks fantastic. Uh, the covers look great. Um, there's, uh, oh, I think most of the staff have been really on board on this particular book. Actually, if this wasn't like a book that I would recommend to subscribing to, it would be a book I would highly recommend uh, specking on as well. Um, it honestly, the the concepts is really easy to pick up, and it can be easily transferred into a movie, um, which has been done before, but just not as a Sleeping Beauty type prize story. Uh, so yeah, I think, like I said, most of the staff are really on board to it. Um, so the the characters for Cantwell are currently writing um, uh, action comics, and uh, he was writing something else. Is he? I think he's the main writer on Alien as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, um, a really good writer. Really enjoy him. Um, and there's uh, the, the the art style really drew us in before we really noticed that it was a uh, it was a dark spin on Sleeping Beauty. Honestly, I, I I keep repeating myself, but the concept seems really great. I'm really excited about this particular book, and so is the rest of the staff here at Cosmos. 
So that's it. That was already five books we looked over that are coming out in September of 2021, theoretically, obviously. Um, even Briar Sears says that he's uh, coming out uh, September 28th. I, I, I could understand if it already gets pushed to October. Uh, yeah, so if there's any of these books you'd like to subscribe to, feel free to log into your Managed Comics account, and then you'll be able to pre-order any cover you want. See, I'll do it right here. We'll log into my account, and then uh, I can subscribe to the series, and I can subscribe to which one. So I would subscribe to the A cover. I'd assume my preferred cover, but the B cover is fantastic as well. If I want to be subscribed to both, I can really easily. If there are other particular covers you're interested in, say the uh, 1 in 10 ratio, you would pre-order cover, and then they would get sent back to us. And then we can uh, send back, if it's a ratio cover, we'd send you a price to be able to cover the cost to get to those books. Um, and this Frizzell cover, fantastic. Um, uh, otherwise, if it's an all-you-can-order cover, uh, which is uh, the C, uh, Mirka and Dolfo is doing a C cover that's unknown at this time, so it's going to be revealed at FOC. Um, so you could pre-order that particular cover and then it gets sent to us and then we can let you know if it's accepted or not. Uh, but usually we'll just accept it as an account for an all you can order account, uh, a book. But uh, you can only subscribe to A or B covers. Uh, mostly this is a problem generated by Marvel. So if there's any comments, questions, please let us know down below. Feel free to share this video with your friends if they're also looking to see what kind of independent books that will seem really interesting in the next couple of months. Thank you so much and we'll see each other real soon. Bye for now.